Hey, crafters. Good to see you tonight. It's woo woo all aboard Train Tober. Hey, crafters. This is the last Tuesday in Train Tober. And tonight's card, what do you call this card? Z Fold. The Z Fold card. That's right. It's the Z Fold. Hence the Z there. See the Z? Z. Anyway, the Z Fold card. Isn't that cool? Julie's going to show you this. This is the grand finale of Train Tober. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. Plus, if you get the PDF, you get the fifth bonus card in there that you have instructions on. Well, uh, let's talk about the special, the Train Tober special. Uh, we're going to uh, carry that till the end of the month. And the Train Tober special is you get 11 items. It's a $129.40 value for only $90.99. You get a 12-pack of acetate, the thanks be to God stamp, the evergreens die, we'll buy three-piece die, okay, you get Santa in the sleigh, there you went, see you Santa, you get the <laughs> just die, <laughs> Merry Christmas stamp, ho ho ho, Merry Christmas, and it says sending love, peace, and joy. Both the top and the bottom. Merry Christmas with a shadow on it. So just not just the scribble, but the shadow too. You get the star swish. Star swish. Not to be confused with star swoosh. Star swish stencil. Buffalo plaid. Won't you come out tonight? Stencil. Look at that up close. You see that close? Isn't that cool? You get the, the slim arch rectangle die as well. That's 11 pieces. I don't think I missed anything there. Yeah, I got it all. Oh, and the I, I did miss something. You get the spiral. Where's it at? Oh, I put Somebody. it away. I'm sorry. My wife, my <laughs> wife took it out of my pile. You get the spiral pop-up die. Is that the die. story of our life? Yes, yes. <laughs> Mrs. Creek took the die, but you're gonna get it. I promise. The you spiral pop-up. I left it over there. It's behind you. It's behind you. Oh, right by your shoulder. Here it is. Right there. Here it is. You also get the spiral pop-up die. She took it. She really did. I did. Here it is. Did you Two connect that to the right internet service? Yes, I did. Okay. By the way, you were on the right internet service. Okay. Do you realize you just interrupted a broadcast? I'm sorry. I tell you what. Fire books and send her to school, and that's what happens. <laughs> All, right. All right. Also, hey, we got something new. We got something new. Some new confetti. We've got our new sugar confetti. Sugar. Da na 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 na. Oh, honey, honey, na na na. Can you see that? You are my candy girl, and you got me wanting you. How about that? Isn't that cool? You can see a real good picture of it on the website. Uh, that's available now. Tom, why would you want sugar? I want sugar, honey, because when I get up in the morning and no, I say, lay some sugar on me, honey. <laughs> I want sugar. This is a G-rated. Well, this is a G-rated show. If I took that eat pie stamp, it's got that big old pie on it, you know. I might want to stamp that and then color it with some some watercolor paint and maybe take some of that granulated sugar and it put around it. It looked like real. It looked good enough to eat. It really would. It really would. Or I could put it shaker card. Now this is. The new snowfall stencil. That's right. See, that's all snowfall snowflakes. Stencil. That's what it says. Excuse me. Did I say stencil? It's yeah. not a stencil. By the way, crafters, this is confetti. Snowfall confetti. And Julie's got a really nice picture where you can see it more clear and concise on there, too. Okay? So those are two, two new products on the confetti end. Also, we will not be broadcasting next Tuesday, November the 2nd, as uh, we are getting prepared for... Um, IPAG, which is the Indiana Paper Arts Gathering, which is a one-day event I want to invite you all to in Danville, Indiana, at the Hendricks County Fairgrounds, free parking, free admission. We will be there as long as uh, a few, uh, as well as a few other vendors. It's going to be a one-day event. Lots of fun with lots of making takes. Come one, come all. Bring your friends. Let's have fun. Whether you're from Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, or there about Kentucky, y'all come on because we're going to be there all day from ten to uh, five. five. I'm teaching five. at 2 o'clock. Mrs. Creek is teaching a class at 10 to 5 called the Shutter Pull. No. Is it? No? What's it called? Your brain is, you said I'm teaching a class at 10 to 5. Oh, excuse me. She's not teaching the class 10 to 5. She's teaching the class at what time? I'll, I'll come in there and talk now. But, but it's a really cool new die that we just introduced called the Shutter Pull, where you take we, it and pull it. It would be really cool if we had it to show, but I forgot it. 
and she forgot it. Do you have any pictures of it? I have nothing here. Do you have a video on There's it? There's a video on the on Where's the video at? On the YouTube channel. What's it called? Shutter Pole. Shutter While you're on video, after this video is over, go to go to go to YouTube and type in Shutter Pole. It's a really cool card. It's a brand new product from Creek Bank Creations. By the way, I didn't tell you who we are. I'm Tom Creek and my wife is Julie Creek. We are Creek Bank Creations from Perrysville, Indiana, the land of tall corn and not much more. We're glad to have you. We have our full line of dies, rubber okay, stamps, adhesives, and tools, as well as paper products. And our own paper line, too. Good to see you. Here's Mrs. Creek. She's impatient tonight. Lots of talking. Took my Left. die. Is any in here? Yes, I did put the die away because it was laying out, and it looked to me like someone had not put it away. Yeah, you were the someone. So, all right. So, hey, I'm glad you're uh, joining us tonight. We are um, we're going to do the last of the four train cards. And as Tom said, if you buy the PDF file or the Train Tober special. You get the fifth card for free. The instructions are on there. If you have any questions about that, feel free to um, email me at creekbc at gmail.com and we'll be happy to um, take care of this. Um, Tom, is there any way you could back your table up a little bit? Your table is bumping into my table and it's shaking the camera. Are you saying that? I'm saying that. Oh so God. I am working on gratitude and thankfulness. Felt like the Lord was challenging me about that. I'm spending the month on it. I don't normally, I know a lot of people like November, I'm going to work on thanks, being thankful. And I don't usually because I'm honestly, I'm pretty thankful. But God's challenged me about it. So I'm sharing with you the um, article that I found online, Six Habits of Highly Grateful People. And number two in the list is, they take time to smell the roses. So I wanted to share with you something that um, I stumbled across years ago um, that has been very meaningful to me, and it's appropriate for the um, number two, they take time to smell the roses. So um, years and years ago, Tom and I had, um, our son was two, and our daughter, Kelsey, was born, and Kelsey was born with a rare genetic disease that was horrible, and uh, life was very difficult. Kelsey was a 24-hour-a-day job, and uh, we were strung out and exhausted most of the time, and I heard um, this writing that I'm going to share with you on the radio and um, it was written by Robert Hastings. Robert Hastings? Oh, yes, yeah. there used to be a little radio show on where we lived called Tiny Bird Tales. And it was on Saturday afternoon. And it was um, this reading by Robert Hastings. So I'm going to share it with you. And um, I hope it's as meaningful for you as it was for me then. This has been a motto that I've tried to live my life by. In fact, we put it up on a plaque in our house. It is in our house. So I want to share this with you. And it is called... The Station by Robert Hastings. Tucked away in our subconscious mind is an idyllic vision. We see ourselves on a long trip that spans the continent. We're traveling by passenger train and out the windows we drink in the passing scene of cars on nearby highway, of children waving at a crossing, of cattle grazing on a distant hillside, <laughs> of smoke pouring out of the power plant, of row upon row of corn and wheat, of flatlands and valleys, of mountains and rolling hills, of biting winter and blazing summer and cavorting spring and docile fall. But upper, over, uppermost in our minds is the final destination. On a certain day, at a certain hour, we'll pull into the station. There will be bands playing and flags waving and once we get there, so many dreams will come true. So many wishes will be fulfilled. And so many pieces of our lives will finally be neatly fulfilled and fitted together like a completed jigsaw puzzle. How restlessly we pace the aisles, damning the minutes for lottering and waiting and waiting for the station. And that was probably the line that really got me. However, sooner or later, we must realize there is no one station, no one place to arrive at once and for all. The true joy of life 
is the trip. The station is only a dream. It constantly outdistances us. When we reach the station, that will be it, we cry. Translated, it means, when I'm 18, that will be it. When I buy a 450 SL Mercedes Benz, that will be it. When I put that last kid through college, that will be it. When I've paid off my mortgage, that'll be it. When I win a promotion, that'll be it. When I reach retirement, that'll be it. I will live happily ever after. Unfortunately, once we get to that point, it disappears. The station somehow hides itself at the end of an endless track. Relish the moment is a good moment, especially when coupled with Psalm 118.24. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. It isn't the burdens of today that drive men mad. Rather, it is regret over yesterday or fear of tomorrow. Regret and fear are the twin thieves that rob us of today. So stop pacing the aisles and counting the miles. Instead, climb more mountains, eat more ice cream, go barefoot oftener, swim more rivers, watch more sunsets, laugh more, cry less. Life must be lived as you go along. The station will come soon enough. So that is my encouragement for you today. Take time to smell the roses today. That is called The Station by Robert Hastings. So that's my little, that kind of, that's funny because we're doing the whole train thing. The station. That's right. yeah. I, I didn't plan it that way, but I just wanted to share that with you tonight. <clears throat> this is why you should eat more ice cream because Robert Hastings said you should right there. So, um, so we're going to work on the train card tonight and we're going to do some, um, fancy die cutting. I'm going to teach you a little die cut trick and, um, we're going to have fun with this card tonight. So when we, before we turn the camera down, I want to talk to you because we do have some new viewers. Um, the background, we're going to stencil with the star swish stencil and we're going to use the J brush. And normally when we talk about the J brush, we talk about using it with dye-based ink. So dye-based ink is Catherine Pooler, Close to My Heart, Stampin' Up, Tim Holtz Distress, Tim Holtz Oxide. Those are dye-based inks. So I prefer the Catherine Pooler brand. But tonight we're going to... So I have a brush, one for every color that I use for my dye-based ink. Red, yellow, blue, one for every color. I don't have my, 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 no, it's, it's put away. My J block is, um, packed in the trailer, so I can't, I can't show it to you, but, uh, one for every color. And then tonight, what we're going to do is work with the brilliance ink and we have brilliance ink on our website in three colors, gold, silver, and white. Do we still have white? Or do we, did yes. we, okay, white. So, um, when you, when you use this ink, it is pigment ink. Okay, so you can't mix the pigment ink with the dye-based ink. You want to keep it separate. And I keep a dedicated J brush for it. So the silver brush, I actually keep with my silver ink pad. And I don't mix them with other pigments. And I don't mix them with dye-based ink. And this is really one of the key things about our um, stencil brush that is different, or blending brush that's different from other brushes this is not a makeup brush. This is actually a brush that I had specifically um, designed extra large barrel so that it's easy to hold in your hand. It has this head that moves up and down. So when you go to close the lid, you want to pull that up and close the lid. But the cool thing is this bristle will handle ink paint media. You can even use it with glue. I've never demoed that for you guys, but that is, I do have another brush at home actually dedicated to glue as well. That's another thing. So tonight we're going to use it this way 
with the Brilliance ink. Questions? No questions. Tom's this looking at me like all. Go for it. Okay, so I think I'm, any, does anybody else have any questions about the train cards? I know some of you have been making train cards. If you're not in the Creek Bank Creations Creativity Group, you can, um, that's on Facebook. If you become my friend, Julie Creek, on Facebook, then I can invite you to join the group. I do think that that is solving the problem. So if you want to join us, um, become my friend. And then um, I can send you a request and get you in the other group. We have over 100 women in that, or women and men in that group. And um, always fun to see what people are doing and what they're working on and get getting um, inspired. So if you're enjoying our videos, if you'll give us a like, and um, if you'd be willing to share the video, that'll help us out. Um, we'd really like to grow this feed and that happens by you sharing. So I'm going to turn the camera down. Oh, should we talk about the shutter pull? Mm -hmm. So I'm teaching class next Saturday in Indianapolis no, at two o'clock. Next Saturday. Sorry. It's November the seventh, dear. I get dates mixed up yeah. all the time. It's November the seventh. The seventh. Saturday, November the seventh. At two o'clock. I'm teaching a layout Saturday, class. November seventh. And we have two make and takes planned that are pretty amazing make and takes. So if you want to come and join us. Details about the class are on the website, and I will be shooting video soon on how to use that die. So more details on that Did later. We weren't broadcasting Tuesday. We're not broadcasting Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we're taking we're we're getting ready for our big event. Big 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 event. Big event. Big event. <laughs> I'm going down. Hang on. Oh. Hang on. Okay. How are we looking? Not Hey, that's pretty good. Straighten it up. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do we it's have good. any gentlemen? It's good. Right on. I got a little black in it. Right on, right on, right on. I'm kind of crooked, don't you think? There we go. Okay. All right. So there's our card. We're 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 making this. Um, Z fold card, and let me turn off the volume of my own little thing here. Or is that coming out of yours, Tom? Okay, so what we're going to do, we are, um, this is our fourth card, and we are, to make this card, we're going to start with a white piece of cardstock, and we're going to cut that 5.5 .5 by 8.5. So that's what I have here. We good? Uh, Carla Kennedy said she tried to friend you to get into the group, but she didn't think okay. you could be friendly. Okay, so um, tell, can you write her name down? And yes. I'll follow up on that later. Anybody else who's trying to get in the group and having trouble, if you'll let us know, I'll try to follow up on that later. I'm working on getting y'all in. Okay, we're going to start with five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to fold it in half. Five and a half by eight and a half, is that what you're Yes, saying? sir. Five and a half by eight and a half. And then we're going to take our scoreboard. We're going to put that up on our scoreboard. And we're going to score at two and one eighth. For those of you in Rio Linda, <laughs> that's. Sorry. <laughs> okay, for those of you in Westville. <laughs> no. You better be careful. Okay, for those of you in Covington. That way I've insulted myself. It's the first hash mark after the number two. We're going to score right there. Okay. And that is going to make that basic card for us that we need. So we have that panel, and we're going to fold that back, and that gives us that basic card that we need. That's awesome. Now what we're going to do is cut our mats that go on the front of our card, and the large blue piece is four by five and a quarter. Are you writing, are you typing this, Tom? I, I, I just lost, I just went to full page, and I, I don't know what I did. I guess okay, I do you need help? Do you need me to come over? No, you stay right there all the time. Okay, this is um, four by five and a quarter, and then you need two blue ones, one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So we're gonna take those, and we're gonna set those up on our work surface and we are going to stencil them. So I'm gonna like spread them about an inch apart. 
put them on my work surface, and I'm going to take my super tacky tape and adhere them down. Now, whenever I do stencil work, I'm always putting a little piece of super tacky tape on the back. That just helps everything to hold still so I don't have things shifting and sliding all over the place. So we're going to put tape on the back. I am using a um, very uh, porous cardstock. This is the basil cardstock. And so the pigment ink works really well on a cardstock that is porous because it will soak up the pigment ink relatively quickly and you do not have to worry about it um, getting tracked up on your hands. The thing about pigment ink is it is heavy and sometimes it doesn't want to dry. But if you use a good, um, oh, I'll put my tape on the wrong side. We'll get another one. Um, if you use a really good cardstock that is porous, it'll soak up the ink. So this basil cardstock is textured. And I put my tape on the wrong side when I was talking. So I'm going to use my grid, set this up on my grid. And if I use the grid, I know that I have everything lined up correctly. And then I'm going to take my stencil. We're using the star swish stencil. And I'm going to tape off the areas of the stencil that I don't want to show. And I am reusing my tape from last week. So I always um, just tape that on the side of my table. And then I can reuse it. Sometimes I have it hanging off my die cut machine too. Maybe it'll tear. There we go. So I tend to be um, a little bit of a wild child when it comes to this inky thing. So I tend to tape a lot. I know not everybody um, needs to tape as much as I do, but because I always make a mess, I tape more. So I'm going to put my pattern so that I have my swish going right here, and then we'll come over here. So I'm going to actually... Laura said she can't figure out how to send Julie a friend request. I've tried to get in the group a couple times. Okay, we'll get her information and I'll try to work on it. Awesome. Laura, it's not me. I promise. Okay, I'm going to tape that off a little more. I need a drink. Hang on. So Jackie, please say it's a thing. How sweet it is. How sweet it is. <laughs> so we're going to pick up some ink. What was Jackie Gleason saying? It was sweet. What was he, sweet? He never did say what he did. Oh. It was... It was always a, a, a tea cup that he was Oh, so the that. insinuation yeah, was that he wasn't drinking tea. Yeah. Do you remember the vendor that we used to vendor with at the Covered Bridge Festival that don't used to... Name their name. I'm not. <laughs> that, um, I don't think they're around anymore. Anyway, um, he used to have a, have a drink underneath the table. What's the name of the Facebook group? Creek Bank Creations Creativity. So I'm just picking up the ink. Get this up here so you can see it. Picking up the ink, and then you can do the swipey thing. Tom's into the swipey thing, or you can do little circles. And I am going to pull that band up to pull my bristles together because I want more concentrated color. More. More, Not baby. Less. More. And that's going to... More is better, right? Well, <laughs> more is better for you. That's going to give you more color, and that's going to give us our first set of stars. And then we're just going to come over here and kind of repeat the pattern. And you can mess around with this, decide how you like it, do it your way. I'm going to make sure that I don't ink on that card. So I'm going to move that. So let's see, I'm going to stick a paper under that just so I make sure I don't re-ink them. There we go. I'm telling you, I'm a wild child with the ink. Okay, do, are we on camera? There we go. All right, more ink. So this is just this will um, put stars on the inside of this panel. So you can see the star swish template works great for a starry sky. You could make Halloween like white stars out of it. You can use it on the nativity. Lots of things you can use that star swish stencil. It looks great for birthday cards too when you do the stars in different colors. There we go. You know, Mr. Creek. Mm -hmm. I did not get my Wonder Wipe clean or ready, but I don't know if I need it. I'll just set this to the side. We're going to pull this off. And then you can see we have our panels all decorated. <clears throat> now, when we started in the beginning, we adhered those, we as an I, 
adhered those down with that um, tape. So we're just gonna put a little bit of undo back there to pop those off. And that will release without tearing up our project. Now we have a little tape on our card there and we can actually just use that tape and adhere that right to our white card, which is pretty handy dandy. Dandy. Handy dandy. dandy. Actually, I, I can just do it later, hon. Okay. I'm good. I appreciate the effort. Talk me into it. <laughs> Take me away from the I know the from your job. So we're going to put tape on the back mm. and adhere these to the card. Okay, what is it that Kathy, we, we should remember what Kathy's saying. Kathy went to our Facebook page and found the creative activity listing under the group on your webpage. Okay. And requested to join. We'll see. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's just telling you, Facebook is a, is a disaster, but we'll, we'll try. So, okay, we're going to put that larger panel in on the right side of the card. And then we're going to put the other two panels in, the other two sections, pull our tape off, stick it down, and we will have made the background for our card. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Undo is your present. Undo is your friend. Oh, I put those pieces in wrong, lady. See, undo is your friend. See, y'all, y'all just made that happen. Well, I, I know, I have a. Um, I know you. I know you do. It's not yours. It's my slogan. You're stealing my slogan. I, I made that. Up. That's my. No. Ex <laughs> Ask me. the ladies who made up the expression. How many ladies have stood at my demo table and heard me say, undo is your friend? I say that all the time. I, I, I always say that all Don't the, steal the, it. The, Don't the, you uh, you are an attention whore. <laughs> 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 no, Tell them, ladies. Tell them. Lois there we knows. go. <laughs> Lois knows. <laughs> I'm sure that's a Julie line. Yes! Diane, you're prejudiced. Uh, okay, so we've got our card base there. And what we want to do is add that village across the bottom. And so the question becomes, how do you make a village 8.5 inches long when that die is only 6 inches long? And I'm going to answer that question for you tonight. So what you're going to do is get a piece of paper, 2 and an eighth by eight and a half. And I went ahead and stamped the Merry Christmas on here. You can decide if you want to stamp it before or if you want to stamp it after. For tonight, I went ahead and stamped that. You do want to make sure when you stamp it that you have it on the center of the left side because it's going to be on the center of the left side, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our village edge die and we are going to set that right in the center. Get my die out. We're going to use that die. Maybe I can get it out of the package. And maybe I can't. We're going to use the die that has the village and the trees. So not the large tree, but the village and the trees. And what you want to do is set that in the center and along the top edge. Okay, so if you need to center it exactly, I want to show you a little thing I do. Pull this up here. You have your grid paper, and you can use your grid paper a lot as a measuring device. So if you look here, I can see how much I have there, and it just helps me to look at it on the grid to measure it <laughs> and get it up there. I don't know what he's laughing about. Now we're going to tape it down. And when I tape it, I am going to put tape on the top edge. If I tape on the bottom edge, then I might have a tape mark show. So tape on the top edge, and we're going to take our cutting platform, and we're going to cut. Now, I have found that um, using the standard 
cutting platform and the standard mat, the standard cutting plates work best so that we don't have that clear, that straight line on the bottom edge that shows. So if you're die cutting these villages and you're getting that straight line across the bottom, which is not a cut line, it's just the impression from the die, then try trading out your platforms and going back to a different platform. Okay, so here's what we've got. And we're gonna take off our die. Okay, and we are going to take our village and we're going to move it over. Are we ready to give something away? No, we're not. I'm in the middle of a deep concentration. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> we're going to take our die and move it over. Pull this up so you can see it better. And tape it down and die cut. And that's going to finish out the left side. So you just kind of have to eyeball it. Take your tape. Push it down, and we're going to put it back in the machine. And you want to make sure it doesn't move. There you go. Back in and die cut. And that's going to give you the trees on the left side that you want. I am cutting with the Vagabond 2, which is an electric die cut machine. So that noise that you hear is the Vagabond 2 making that noise and sorry for the shaking okay we're gonna undo that <laughs> I don't even want to know what you're okay so now we have the right side so we're gonna move over to the right and we're gonna realign the die right on the right side and we're gonna die cut again and that will give us our 8.5 inch line cut very nice for our Z fold part. <laughs> can you got can they hear you giggling? Y'all are making Tom giggle. Okay. Now we have we're going to take this off and we are going to find our entire village cut for us. There's my whole piece. Okay. Now what we want to do is take your scoreboard and we're going to score that. So put it up on your scoreboard and we're going to score it. So you just kind of have to want to try to make sure you're getting it straight. We're going to score at one and a fourth and six and three eighths. So you just want to kind of gently score right through your village, six and three eighths. Oh my goodness, I got to double check. See, this is why I love my Victor ruler. Would you like me to, to read the ruler for you? No, this one tells me, Tom, so I don't need your assistance. Ooh, okay. So if you don't know, I'm not very good with reading rulers and all this stuff. You think? So I have the Victor <laughs> ruler. You can buy this on Amazon. And if you'll look at this, the Victor ruler will tell you exactly where the three eighths is. So I'm making sure I don't want to score it wrong here. Three eighths is right here. And if you're, if you're good at all this, I'll, that's awesome. I'm not. I'm creative, but this is, my poor mother tried to teach me to sew. Bless her heart, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> Did she try to teach you to cut? Hold it, hold it. She can't. <laughs> so we've got our card, and we are going to um, fold that, and that is going to be our basic fold we've got going there. Okay? Awesome. That, there's your Z-fold piece right there. Now, what we want to do is take our gold cardstock and we want to cut our gold cardstock one by eight and a half. And when we die cut, we want to put the train right on the edge. So you put that train right on the edge and you die cut. And what you're going to have is... Kathy asks, what yes. is a Victor ruler? Um, Kathy, sure Victor this ruler? Victor, this ruler is... Um, Are you sure? 
Yeah, I, they're seeing it. Victor ruler. You can buy it on Amazon. It has a cork back so that it doesn't slide. And they ha they sell this in the in a 12 inch and an 18 inch version. And the 18 inch version is huge. So make sure you get the 12 inch. We're here's th we're thinking about making our own. We, we need, need to make Tommy, our own. The Tommy Boy ruler. Um, here's why I love this ruler. I'll see if I can get it close enough. It tells you all the little measurements. Three eighths, seven sixteenths, nine sixteenths, five eighths, three quarters. You're, you're missing the camera, baby. Okay. Oh. There we go. Is that better? Well, you need to get a little. There we go. Okay. So if you have trouble with these things, and I, I'm telling you, my my brain is not made for math. Um, it's called the Easy Read Ruler. And um, I highly recommend it. It will it will make your life better, and then you won't have to ask your husband for help and make fun of you. Who? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> now back to the card. <laughs> you know it's good that I feel safe enough to ask you for help you with the five eights. <laughs> okay, so what we've done is we've cut that on the edge. So you didn't learn. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it on the edge. So here's what we've got. We we are stopping right here. So what we want to do is take our die cut and put it in our paper cutter. Or you can um, you can um, cut it by hand. But this is how I do it. I put it in my paper trimmer. I'm pretty good with the paper trimmer because I've been using it for years. If you're not good, you can try to cut it by hand. Her and the paper trimmer go way back. Her and the paper trimmer go way back. The great thing about that caterpillar is that you can get right on an edge, and this you can too. So what I do is yeah, line it back up, push down, and you're going to just finish that line straight out, and that's going to give you that line to come across the front of your card. All right, what were the score marks on for the village again, please? The score marks, I handed you that paper, on, Tom. Here. The score marks are... Uh, it's on step four, Tom. One, I'm okay. sorry, four and a quarter gotcha. by I... six and three eighths. Okay, right. so what that did is give us the ability to have that extend all the way out. So that train line is going all the way out. You could uh, die cut another set of train cars and figure that out if you wanted to. But honestly, I think this looks fine just like it is. Okay, so we're going to... Take our evergreen die. We're going to take our train. Let's take our train first. Now, when you cut the train, the train has these little gold stars in the wheels. So when I pull those out, I try to get those little stars to stay down in the relief liner. They're sticking everywhere. I got them stuck on my phone. Because they look beautiful when you add them to the card later. So just try to pull your stars off. And I'm going to tell you right now, they're sticking all over my fingers, so I'm going to move them right now. See my thumb? Sticking right there. So here's what's great. You can take those and just put them on your card, and it just makes a nice accent. The more you put on it, the prettier they are. Now, we do have cards to give a card to give away tonight. Tom, do you have... Um, do you have your card, your question? I have my question. Are these the cards we're getting? Yeah, we have card. Now, what we have are, why don't you give away the, uh, well, let's do the train from last week. We What's have the, I'm sorry, the slim card, train card, that we're, the kit right here, all die cut and ready to go. All you have to do is go back and watch my video, and you can put the card together. So um, Tom has a question. He's going to come over and give you the question. I'm going to adhere this to the bottom edge of that white piece while he's talking. Okay, it's another train question, crafters. Are you ready? Okay. There are three, count them, one, two, three types of locomotives and trains. Name what kind they are. Three answers. Three kinds, of, you mean like... Styles? No. Okay. Three types of train cars. And I'm not talking about brand name. Not like Ford GM or Chevy. Okay. Or... You're getting you're making them hard. He's trying to make hard questions so that everybody has a chance. Because some people the the um the feed lags differently, so if the questions are too easy, then people never get a chance. Okay. Are they guessing in the right category? 
Um, David Starsky is the winner. David Starsky. What's the answer? It's electric, diesel, and steam. Mm -hmm. She had steam. Well, I assume that means it's a, it's a typo there. But yes, David, you won the card, kid. Yay, David. David. Yay, David. Yay, David. The answer is electric, diesel, and steam. So I've adhered the gold train to the bottom of the edge, and I fold that, and I have my bottom edge complete. Now, um, we are, you want to take the evergreen die set and cut four medium-sized trees, and we are going to adhere those to the card. Now, the first one you cut, you want to go ahead and cut that with super tacky tape because you're going to adhere it directly to the card, and you're going to cut it, you're going to cut it, you're going to adhere it an inch and a quarter from the bottom of your card. And this is another time when I use the grid for alignment. If I have the grid, I can look at my card and I can look at where one and a quarter is and I can stick it on there. So this is, I just love using the grid for all these little simple things. So we're gonna put that right on the edge. Now, I'm gonna stick it down. My um, die, I'm gonna pull this up so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. My die has um, paper hair hanging off of it, which drives me nuts. So we're gonna take the Embelly Jelly and we're gonna pull off the paper hair. So Embelly Jelly comes in this little package. And you open it up and I just keep it in a little ball and I it's like wax or something. I don't really know what it is, but just push it into the side of your die cut and it'll pull off all those crazy paper fibers that are hanging around. So when you buy this, when you purchase it, it comes with a stick and it's actually meant to move little beads and sequins, but I use it to remove the paper fibers off of my project. So we've got our tree on there. And then what we're going to do is adhere our train, our, our base that we made to our card front so I discovered today um, when I was messing around with this that it's, I find it easier if you flip this over and we're going to put adhesive here. That would be on the right. And then I'm going to put adhesive on the left, <laughs> but I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna peel it off. So we're going to peel the back off of this, and I'm going to adhere that right corner down. So we're just going to set it right on there, just like that. And then you could go ahead and adhere this down on the left, but what I discovered today was if you, if you, I have my tape going over too far. Let's, I'm going to show you guys. My tape is going way too far over. Way too far. should be about that far. So we're going to trim it. Got carried away with the tape. Yeah, I'm going to have to undo it. Sometimes I can get tape to just peel off. I just don't want that hanging up in that mechanism that we're going to make. We're going to put a little box in there. So I'm going to take my undo. See, undo is your friend, and I did invent the saying. Mm -mm. Tom, Ask the ladies. Tom, you Ask don't the have any friends. <laughs> 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 oh. Tom's an individual rugged. What do they call that? An individualist? Wild man. Well, yeah, that too. They call you that too. They call you that too. Okay, sorry about that. Got too much tape going there. Now, what we're going to do is take a piece of cardstock, and we are going to cut that little piece of cardstock. Tom, are you ready? Are you ready, Tom? Am I ready for what? We're on step number eight. We're going to cut a piece of cardstock one and a quarter by four and one eighth. So this is what I have. Well, Amy told me that she's my friend. <laughs> Actually, you have more women friends than you do men friends. You're right. And then we're going to score at one 
What step is this? And three, <laughs> three and one eighth. We're on step number eight. We're just about done. One and a quarter by four and an eighth. Yep, and we're we're gonna cut it one and a quarter by four and one eighth. We're gonna score on the long side at one and three and one eighths. There's our little piece that we're gonna slide in there. We're gonna put tape on the right side and on the left side. Super tacky tape right there. For where? Um, you'll have to read the paper. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm taping. <laughs> Oh. We're going to take our tape liner off and we're going to adhere that right in the card. So now you've made this little structure that you can play around with and add things to. There's, we're going to put that on the side right there. Line that up. You don't want that getting it on the fold you want it above the fold and now we're going to pull this piece up and adhere that right to the side okay does that make sense we're going to turn it over that's what it looks like from the bottom lisa, lisa fitzpatrick says she just wanted to be sure to say how much she's loved this series of cards thank you lisa. thank you thank you thank you i was totally inspired to do this so i'm glad that you are enjoying it and other people are too so there you go there's our little z fold that we made and i'm going to adhere that down now here's what's cool if you don't adhere that piece down have this little flap here then you can figure out how you want to do your trees and put your trees in there now these trees when i adhere them in here do not have super tacky tape on the back of them because we don't want them sticking to the background. So I literally just went in and cut my scrap. I got my scrap paper out and just cut a bunch of trees. And so we're going to adhere those right there. Now I'm about finished with the card tonight. So Tom, I'm, I'm gonna put these two trees in. Yeah. And la ladies, and ladies and gentlemen, you can see that you can you could add more trees into this. You know, I'm, I'm using a total of four trees. Um, you can put more trees or less in. You can decide how you want to do it. So I'm going to put the trees in here. Like and I know you do. Tom, Tom's a tree lover. Um, Not to be confused with a tree hugger. Tree. Yes. <laughs> well, you could. You could. You could hug trees. Do you have a second question? We have I a do. second card I to do. give away. So we have another kit from last time, <laughs> which is the train slim card to, for Tom to give away. So I'm going to tape these in and Tom's going to come over. Okay. David. David Starsky, you can't win this one, okay? You've already won one tonight. David, okay? you can't be a winner. All right, so... Does that mean David's a loser? We know that three <laughs> types of locomotives are electric, diesel, and steam. But what powered trains before the 19th century? What, what powered, powered trains? trains before the night? Is there only one answer? There's one answer. Okay. Ride the train, yeah. Ride the train. Oh, this is going to be good. Everywhere I'm going, I ride train. Sleeping in a boxcar when it rains. Ride the train, yeah, ride the train. My grandfather tried to jump a train, and it, it cut half of his foot off. You're right, he did. Yeah. That's why they call him... I suggest if you're going to ride the train, you get the ticket. One-footed robber. <laughs> get the ticket. Don't try to jump a train. Is that how you got the nickname Hopalong? No, stop. <laughs> stop. He was a kid. He was being a kid. Okay, we're going to stick our other tree in here. And, you know, I could have used the super tacky tape on the back of it because it is laying flat. And you can decide how you want to stick it in there. Hold it, Judy Rett's got it. Judy, Judy, Rett. Judy, I missed, Judy. Almost missed it, Judy. Judy Rett. So after winner. I have my trees, I am ready to pull that tape liner off and adhere that to the front panel. So um, I really like keeping it open and then building that box and working in that box to, um, and then closing it up like that. So. Be anxious to see if y'all get inspired to make other kinds of um, Z-fold cards. Fits in an A2 envelope. 
and is dimensional. You know, I said the red one was my favorite, but this one might be my favorite too. Red is always your favorite. You this one, like this is the bonus card. So if you got the instructions or if you brought the, bought the Train Tober special, the bonus card is in there. I'm gonna pull the camera up. We're coming up. We're coming up. Awesome. So I'm glad that y'all are enjoying the Train Tober cards. Okay. Next it month, has been fun. next month we're going to start out. Um, we're taking next Tuesday off. The following Tuesday we will be making a mini tote. Hold on. What about the shutter pull? You gonna show them the shutter pull? Sometime we're gonna work on shutter pull too. We've got so okay. much. We got I'm, so much in the on, works. I'm looking. Crackers. I'm looking. What are you looking for? We're going, I'm going to, um, we're going to do the mini tote with the K-Cups and we're going to decorate it with the train, um, the train set, it's kind of the village favor. edges Christmas party as favor. for Christmas. So if you put already the table setting, you know, you get to put the little goodies inside there. Also, if you, if you didn't know it, those little homemade, how much garlic, <laughs> how, how much garlic did you eat tonight? Well, it's, it's good for the COVID. You know what I mean? <laughs> It enhances the uh, immune system. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> you want to kiss me? <laughs> Isn't that bad? It's horrible. Oh, well, okay. you would need dinner with me, so I eat it by myself. Okay, so... She loves garlic. Stop, See, I'm around stop. Here. garlic. So, I call so, her the garlic girl. <laughs> It's Tanya. Yeah. No. Okay, be quiet. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to end this thing. Okay. <laughs> Next Tuesday, we're not meeting. The following Tuesday, we're going to make a mini tote. We're going to use the train village edge die. So if you have it, you'll see how to do fun, that. Fun, nothing but fun. And, um, and then we're going to, in um, November, I have a series of um, birch tree cards to make. We're not doing Just that. Just take it in there. Just take it in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, is, okay. uh, and saw. some nativity cards. So we have good things coming. We're good. working on it. Lots of fun. And what? And um, we have um, the shutter pole to get in there. So we'll, Ooh, yeah. we'll get some video shots. We're going to have a lot of fun in the month of November. So thank Not to mention, you. it's hunting season too, by the way. By the way, I got to, never mind. I almost gave away a trivia question. But, uh, okay. okay. All, right. All right. Hey, may the Lord bless the you Lord and keep bless you. bless you and keep you. Can't wait to see you again. Remember, eat more ice cream. That's right. By the way, we're out of ice cream. We need to get more. We'll see, we'll see you next. <laughs> see you next no, time. No, the week after next. Yeah, the we'll week after next. We'll see you the week next. after next. Bye. Bye.